You don't like the cadre system? The ANC says, tough, we're going to stick with it. But the reality of the matter is, we will do it. Celebrating the best footballers on the continent before Bafana Bafana returns home tomorrow. Hello, I'm Jane Dutton. Good to have you with us. This is Eyewitness News. Defending a system that exacerbates the rot in the country. Mineral Resources and Energy Minister Gwede Mantashe says the cadre deployment system will stay. This week, the Constitutional Court ruled in favour of the DA's case to compel the ANC to make public its complete cadre deployment records. Mantashe used today's debate into Ramaphosa's State of the Nation address to defend the policy and the president who chaired the ANC's deployment committee while Deputy President. So, run to court, do everything, but the reality of the matter is, we will do it. You will get your report, but we'll continue deploying people who are capable. DA Federal Chair Helen Ziller says the party's win is a massive victory for South Africa. A lot of people inside the ANC have those records, and they're all fighting with each other now. They don't know what we know. And they know what each other know. And believe me, when their minutes out there, and people have those minutes, mm. you better know that you cannot fool all of the people all of the time. During the debate on Sona, ANC's chief whip, Pemi Majordina, lashed out at opposition parties for their negativity, saying if they were to come to power, poverty and inequality would grow and wealth would only come to a few. We as the ANC and the nation... We are inspired by the president's address last Thursday. The president has detailed the undertaking from 2023 SONA. The progress is inspiring. I repeat, the progress is inspiring. This time, tomorrow, Bafana Bafana will be back on home soil. We'll be live at the airport to capture that moment. And there's lots to celebrate. Yes, we are. We have been our boys being top of the game, like our Ronwyn Williams, who bagged best goalie of AFCON, and Sebastian Haller, who scored the winning goal against Nigeria. And that's just a year since returning back to soccer after recovering from testicular cancer. Haller is just one of the many heroes in what's considered one of the best AFCONs ever. Disgraced former public protector Busisiwe Mukwebane says she will not respond on the matter of her gratuitous payment until she receives official communication from the public protector's office. Earlier, EWN reported that the public protector's office found that Mukwebane is not entitled to any form of gratuity payment in respect of both the Constitution and the Public Protectors Act. Mugwebani is seeking to claim at least 10 million rand in gratuity payment following her removal from office by President Sir Ramaphosa last year. Mugwebani had been found guilty of misconduct and incompetence at an inquiry that sat for more than a year. We understand that had she vacated office, she would have been entitled to her payout. Let me get the response. I'll respond to you. I can't respond to something I haven't seen. A sex worker who claims to have almost fallen victim to alleged serial killer Sefiso Makwanazi has concluded her evidence in the trial against the 21-year-old. The Johannesburg High Court sitting in Palm Ridge has heard from three witnesses in the main trial so far who have all delivered damning evidence against Makwanazi. Makwanazi faces six counts of murder and seven of rape. Cape Town firefighters have managed to contain a blaze along Boys Drive near Cork Bay. The Table Mountain National Park says firefighting crews will remain in the area to monitor the fire for any flare-ups. The park's spokesperson, Lauren Clayton Howard, says the cause of the fire is unknown at this stage and says residents willing to donate can drop off water, energy drinks and non-perishable food items at the Newlands Firebase. Firefighting crews from Table Mountain National Park, NCC Wildfires and the Provincial Disaster Management Centre remain on scene. Approximately 34 hectares of felt has burned, which is relatively small compared to previous fires this season. 
Some news out of the continent. The U.S. Senate has passed an aid package to Ukraine and Israel with 14.1 billion U.S. dollars potentially going into Israel's war against Hamas and almost 10 billion for humanitarian aid for civilians in conflict zones, including Palestinians in Gaza. And President Cyril Ramaphosa has ordered the employment of 2,900 SANDF members to assist in the fight against illegal armed groups in Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo. The president says this is in line with fulfilling South Africa's international obligation towards a SADC mission to support DRC. The group will be in DRC from the 15th of December this year and will serve until the same date next year. So we'll see you back for Valentine's Day tomorrow. Remember, you can download our EWN app found at any app store. Eyewitness News. In touch, in tune and independent. For the latest, log on to ewn.co.za or ewn.mobi.